Good morning guys, it's just me again. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. It's really casual. Um, today's actually a first day. I was meant to start vlogging on Monday, but it's been such a busy, busy week. So on Monday I had to do like content, social media stuff. Tuesday I was out in London doing someone's makeup. Wednesday, uh, yesterday, that's yesterday, I came on my period <laughs> and had such bad cramps that I was feeling sorry for myself. I was meant to go to London, but then I decided that I wasn't going to go because I'm going to go to London tomorrow as well. So I didn't go yesterday and I stayed at home and replied to emails, did admin stuff, and then I stayed on the sofa for a little bit watching Euphoria, um, watching season two. And yeah, so that, yesterday was kind of like a productive day, but at the same time I was at home, so it was kind of chilled as well. I also got all the laundry done. My laundry basket is empty right now. <laughs> it makes me so happy to have a empty laundry basket because that's very rare. Um, I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Today is a Thursday, so what I'm doing today is I ordered a couple of pairs of trainers and I need to go collect them. So basically I'm doing a click, click and collect. Aiden new, needs new PJs. He needs new long sleeve tops. I need to take a refund back to H&M as well. So it's kind of just like really random stuff that I need to get done. So I'm probably going to be out for a couple of hours. And I might as well grab lunch whilst I'm out. And then I'm going to come home and do um, home stuff. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to take to the charity shop. Can you see that bag? down there basically I cleared out my wardrobe and yeah that's just been sat there for quite a few days now I need to take it to the charity shop and then there's quite a lot of stuff that I need to dismantle and then take downstairs or take to the tip as well so I'm going to try and get all that done today it's still quite early it's only like half 10 11 a.m so I should be able to get that done before I have to go pick up Aiden from school um, yeah so outfit wise this is a oversized blazer from Bershka it's just a grey oversized one and then I have my Uniqlo leggings on um, these are so good really tight really black not shiny or see through they're like matte and then I have just a plain black t-shirt on um, it's really old this t-shirt but I love it it's one of those like wardrobe items that you just like do not get rid of you wear over and over again and this is mine um, it's like a black boxy t-shirt um, necklaces, gold jewellery, my summer earrings as always I actually really like my makeup today mm -hmm. yeah I like it <laughs> I think it might be my new favourite makeup style and I've got these boots from H&M um, let me show you like this so they're these chunky uh, boots but what I like most about them is yeah they're chunky so they're going to be really comfy um comfy to walk and they're not high heeled or anything well they are high heeled but they're chunky so i think that's probably the best way i can show you them whilst they're on i've just gotten home and i picked up the trainers that i ordered basically i bought the adidas forum lows and i originally wanted them in green but they're sold out everywhere in green unless it's a men's size um they have men's in the green but women's are sold out everywhere and do for day actually um Solanda gave me an email notification to say that my size came back into stock but by the time i clicked the link and went to check out somebody else has already bought them because <laughs> they're that popular i didn't check out um quick enough but i got them in white as you can see and i got them in black as well uh, i can't decide which ones i prefer i feel like the white ones will go with a lot more outfits um yeah because they're just um more plain i guess but then i really like the detail on the black um i think the black makes them just look a little bit more cooler um but they're very similar to the style that i want which is the new balance 550s but they're being resold at crazy prices and again i wanted green in the 550s but they're being sold i think they're like 300 or f actually i'm lying they're like 500 pounds now on laced and um, stock x um so yeah i just settled for these ones but i know for a fact that these are going to become so popular because i've already seen people starting to wear them um like on instagram and then the green obviously sold out really quickly so yeah i've got a feeling that these are going to be really popular uh soon because they're a very similar shape to the 550s 
and they're still available in the shops um, but I think give it a couple of more weeks or a month or so and I think these are going to be sold out um, so yeah I thought I'd just like quickly buy them before that happens um, yeah so what do you think guys white or black black and white what I originally um, thought I was going to do was buy the white ones and then buy paint green paint and then paint the stripes myself it's basically the front little section here the three stripes and then this little section here um, but then the green ones has green on the lining as well but obviously if I'm going to do it myself I'm not going to do the inside just these like sections but I don't know I quite like them as they are like just white so yeah not sure um, yeah I really like the shape of them now uh, yeah I love them I also got Aiden a new water bottle he said he wanted a shark one so I saw this one in a smiggle so I just picked this one up for him um, it's not focusing um, anyways you can see what the bottle looks like and then from oh and then from Max and Spencer's I just got him um, two new PJ sets um, I just got these ones I've got a feeling he's gonna grow out of the not grow out of these but it's going to get warm soon so <laughs> it's going to get warm soon so he's going to be switching into shorts and t-shirt pjs um so i think these yeah i think they might be a little bit too big i bought for age five to six which is his age but he's quite small for his age so i'm not really sure i'm gonna have to open them and see um but i thought i'd just get two for now because he's gonna be switching out soon to summer pjs it's actually really warm today i didn't need a coat or anything so yeah um that's all i got today really morning guys so last week i placed a yes style order because i was out of eyeliners and i also picked up a few different things as well and i needed another one of these these are these this is the blackhead mask that i use i've used it for years it is the only thing that removes blackheads for me everything else i've tried doesn't work pore strips other charcoal masks whatever um they call like to call it doesn't work this is the only one that works for me and when I say it works, I mean like it literally pulls out every single, it might not even be a blackhead, it's more like a whitehead, but all of the sebum and all of the oil and dirt, it literally just pulls it right out. And then I also got this uh, mascara. If you have um, problems with your eyelashes drooping after applying mascara, try this one. Um, it's a Japanese brand. It's, um, I think it's called Kiss Me Heroin. Um, yeah, Kiss Me. It's not that expensive, probably like a drugstore mascara price, like about £10 and it lasts for a long time. It's super waterproof, so waterproof that it's probably one of the hardest mascaras to remove uh, when I remove my makeup. So you have to be gentle when removing it, but if you want long lasting and something that's going to keep your curl um, up, then try this one. I also got two eye glitters. I've never tried these before, but I thought I'd try them. I am just loving eye glitter so much right now. It makes so much difference to a like a normal plain eyeshadow look. What I like to do is just apply one eyeshadow colour all over and then put glitter on top and it makes such a difference. So I've got like a rose gold colour and also a pure white colour. These are by the brand Peach C. And it's called Valentine Pink in then Pure White. I also got the concealers that I absolutely love. But it's just that it's really hard to get hold of them. I can only get them if I order from like Say Yes Style online. So I've got a few different colours whilst I was ordering. 1.5 is my colour. Uh, but 1.25 is a little bit lighter. So I thought I'd use that for like highlighting. And then I bought number two, just in case I get a little darker, I can use this in the summer. But I actually got two of the 1.5s because um, I'm going to put that into my makeup kit as well. I think it's such a good, like, just 
Oh, I just love it and it's really cheap as well. I think these were like less than four pounds So I like to just stock up on them if I can Too cool for school contouring um, Powder you guys uh, know what this looks like. It's like the one with the three stripes. It's just one of the best uh, cool turned contouring powders for I think like my skin tone and also um, Yeah, it's just inexpensive as well. I got it in number one classic um, it was about £10, I think. I bought this contouring stick. I know it's really popular. It's by Etude House. But I've never tried it before. And I got it in the colour number 3. Which was quite a dark colour when I looked online. But I just opened it and it's actually not that dark. So I'm not sure whether it's going to be enough for contouring. I might save it for like contouring my nose area. Um, where I don't need it to be that dark. But for like my jawline and my cheeks. I don't think this is going to be dark enough. This is just like a... I don't know, it's in between my normal skin <coughs> sorry, it's in between my normal skin colour and then the contour colours that I normally use. I think because it's more like Korean, so they like don't do it as dark because they're naturally quite pale. Um, but yeah, I got that, so I'm going to give that a go and see how that goes. Etude House Fixing Tint, I saw this colour and I just knew I had to have it, it's called ginger milk tea i am absolutely loving the kind of like burnt orange warm turned nudes right now um this is that color it's perfect i might actually try that tonight i'm actually going out tonight but i'll update you guys um later so i've got these eyeliners i've got these are for myself and then these go into my makeup kit and um, basically they're the tony moon uh is it tony money tony tony no, it's not. It's uh, McQueen. It's by McQueen New York, the brand, even though it's a Korean brand. And it's called Money Waterproof Pen Liners. So I got um, two black ones and two brown ones. These are really thin and fine. So they're perfect for drawing fake eyelashes at the bottom lashes. And yeah, it's just really good. It lasts a long time. It's thin, so it's really good at getting precise straight lines so yeah i've got um four of those uh, that should last me for for a while and then this is a gel eyeliner i got it in the color uh gold label so what i like to use these for is the lower inner corners um when i like a bit of brightness and glitter and shimmer uh these are gonna go in my makeup bag these are the clear pencil liners so i got a black one and a brown one and again these are two um, very thin eyeliners so it's really good for drawing really nice precise lines and then waterproof so they don't smudge uh, number one and number five uh, black and brown and then last but not least I got uh, what is this waterproof pencil gel liner I think this is another one of those brightening ones like this one I just find that using these instead of like cream eyeshadows or just eyeshadows last a little bit longer and it stays put. Whereas I find that sh eyeshadows, like shimmer eyeshadows on the lower lashes, move around. And then the cream eyeshadows tend to crease um, in my crease lines. So I think like these long lasting, oh it's really hard to get out. These long lasting eyeliner pencils are perfect for that job yeah i got like a pinky champagne one yeah so that's my haul i'm just getting ready because it's a wednesday today and i'm actually going to do a two with my friend to see maluma um i booked these tickets quite a while ago now and it's come around so quickly can't believe today is today um if you guys don't know already i absolutely love reggaeton music and so does my friend so like Maluma, Ozuna, Nikki Jan, Nikki Jan, <laughs> Nikki Jan, Bad Bunny and all that kind of like style of music me and my friend absolutely love and Maluma is playing at DO2 tonight um, so I'm gonna go see Maluma um, I'm wearing this, it's quite sexy actually I'm wearing this bodysuit, it's lace it's actually, I've got a bra underneath but I pulled my skirt all the way up to the top so that it doesn't look as lacy, you can only see the lace here you can't really see the lace anywhere else so it's not as like uh, revealing as it could be and then I have this kind of like PVC button down mini skirt on with tights 
I've got a black blazer on and then I'm just gonna wear chunky black boots to make it more casual um, instead of wearing like heels or something um, Jumbalan English pair my favourite I actually finished this bottle this was one that I got a couple of years ago for Chinese New Year and I finished that now and then yeah this is a special edition I can't remember what, when when did I get this but um, it was a special edition as well because as you can see by the packaging it's got like Chinese New Year packaging and this was probably spring season or something um, but yeah I've just opened this the other day so this is a fresh new one I need to finish doing my hair because I don't like how it's flicking out I did have it curled but then it's kind of dropped where I've been like walking around and trying on outfits um yeah let's go do my hair oh my god look at this weather what is it apparently there's a sandstorm um those are the emirate cable cars that you've probably seen a lot on tiktok it's always on tiktok but i've just packed up in a car park um i'm two hours early because i'm gonna meet my friend for dinner um so yeah but what is this weather honestly i just put my hair up in this little kind of like ponytail so that it's like half up half down um, i'm not sure if i like it i might pull it out but i'm not really sure Mm. Mm. Kind of like it, but then I mm, don't know. Welcome to my world, 